going to make this Seabird 4 self bookcase we got this from Target and uh, I'm going to start making, making and show you what it looks like at the end uh, the, it was very heavy and uh, all the items were really sturdy so, so the, another good thing I liked about this is that the, the screws are separated by the steps so for example step 1, step 2 and you can see behind there is a line, you cut it and you get the screws for that step so there is no confusion this is really interesting idea and I am amazed that you know, somebody nobody thought about it till now I really like this idea there is just no chance of making mistakes and it's very simple so first step is basically connecting 3, 4 and 5 so you can see I have, the way I have kept it 5 front up then 3 like this and 4 this is how you are going to put it. You are going to basically connect this here like this and same and then you are going to connect the other part on top of it. So it's very simple. I am going to show you ahead. One next. Okay, so you are going to put these white ones in here. Same here as well. And then you are going to just screw this thing over here. You don't need the gun, but having gun helps. This is electric gun. Okay. Okay, so you want to basically put this screw on the other side of 5. So I put the screw on the other side before. But that, that, that is also why you have to screw as a part of step 2. But as a part of step 1 you have to put screw on this side of the table. Also this cam lock screw has this open part. So you want to put, uh, point the arrow part towards the outside. Like this. So the arrow is facing outside. And now the next step is just simply connecting this thing. You can see, just connected it. And now the same thing I'm going to do for this one as well, like this. So you can see the 5 return comes outside, the 5 front. And this is the old screw that I put in. Now once again the same thing, I'm going to use the number 3 and number 6 this time. So connected 4 to 5. And then 5 to 6, exactly the same way. So I have, I have, I have these cam locks here. Remember, the arrows go outside, outwards, arrows. And then put this single screw, wooden rods here. And this single screw in here. Yep, that's it. Now I am going to connect them, like this. Okay, now step 3. So for step 3, you are going to open the packet. Okay, so now this is step 3. And you are going to basically open the step 3 screws and uh, you are going to get a lot of these screws and I am going to use the 10 of them. So on all of this, on this step 1, on the wooden panel 1, you are going to put the screws outside of the two holes. So outside here and outside here. And you are going to put the same thing for the rest of the 4. So 10 screws in total. So... Yep, 10 screws like this. Okay, so now you are going to place it like this right next to this thing. And remember, this wooden panel for of this whole wooden pan frame 1 is going to come between 5 and 6. So something like this. You are going to really connect this thing now. Also this, you are going to take this 6 cam lock screws and this 6 wooden screws and you are going to start placing it over here. You are going to basically place only 6 of them instead of 10. Because you are only going to connect this right now. You are only going to connect one part. Okay. And the cam lock screws go here. Remember the open part, the pointed arrow goes outward. Because screw is going to come from this side. Same is with this cam lock screws again. So six of them and six wooden panels here. Okay. Okay, so now I have connected it. Now you also need to tighten these cam lock screws here. All the cam lock screws. On each step, you have to use this screwdriver like this and tighten the cam lock screws. They just go like 180 degrees. Okay, so now the same thing, what you did was with 4, 5 and 6. This time it is 7 and 8 and 3. 3 is the same common thing. Put the two wooden these things on the side and put this screw in the center. Same for this one as well here. For 7 and 8 both. You won't make mistake in 7 and 8 because they both have only holes at one places. 
and then this cam locks in number three here like this pointing outwards okay so you can see that was four five and six and now it's going to be seven and eight so you don't have to worry about too much just remember the orders four five six seven and eight and there is one and two here and there are three threes in between so what you are going to do is this two screw if you remember we didn't do anything four screws we didn't do anything you are going to put these four wooden knots in them okay not difficult and then you are going to put these four cam locks once again remember the rule the arrow goes towards the screw so this way this time it will go this way so just put all the four cam locks okay so now next just slide this number 9 in here in between these two panels that is panel number 5 and 6 yep that's it this is how it's going to be you are going to put the handle later on but you need to put this before you do anything else okay now so now the same as you did for one put start putting screws outside outside holes 10 of them in total this is step number 7 Okay, so after this you are going to put these wooden screws here, 10 of them, and then you are just going to connect them. The simple way to remember to not make a mistake is remember these are the legs, right? These go down, that is towards the 8. The legs on both the sides go down towards 8. Once you have done that thing and once you have connected it, the next step is to put these two panels on the back side. So remember, wherever you put this thing, this is the front, and once you make this stand up, this thing will be on the back side and you are going to put use the screws here provided to connect them and then you are going to connect the handle that's it okay so now i'm actually going to skip to step 9 we will do step 8 later so step 9 is basically connecting this handle so it's very very simple right just connect this thing yep that's it and now your handle is ready and you can you know just Move this door around the way you want, depending on how you, which style you like. And uh, the next step is to play take this panels here. And now let's go behind. You are going to put this panel behind here on uh, number one here and number two at the bottom. So you can see they have this edging placed here, just so that you know there is no issue. So you can see this this goes it fit perfectly here. Yep. Now we are going to there are screw holes as well. So just connect the screws. Same for the bottom one. And it is ready, almost ready actually. One more thing you have to be careful is anti tipping. So they have also provided this screws to where you can connect these two walls here. So you can see these holes here. You connect it to walls, it doesn't tip. That's it. If you want to see how it looks from ahead. This is how it looks from my head. There will obviously be a panel at the bottom behind which I showed you. Yep. Okay, so all done. It's very sturdy and because of the plastic pedals at the bottom, pedals more like rubber stops, it is very easy to just drag and it won't hurt your floor. So I just dragged this across the floor and there was, it just went very smoothly without any, with very less friction. You, I do want to connect it I do want to connect it to the top and connect it to the wall here but uh, yeah that's it and uh, this thing slides smoothly as well just so you know very happy with the purchase okay thank you